Hello folks. So I've had a lot of uh, interest in using the controller to actually make a reflow oven out of a toaster oven. I decided just to uh, throw something together real quick and show it to you guys. So you can look inside. I've got the control board in here wired in. There's a diode for measuring the temperature. That's going to limit us to about 250 Fahrenheit right now, but I've got new sensors on the way which should be here soon. Um, right now the control board is on, but the actual toaster oven is off. And you can see we're drawing 2 watts or so on the kilowatt. Um, if we flip this bad boy to on, we're only set at 50 degrees, so we're not doing anything yet. Start turning this up. We'll go to 90. And you can see the power draw goes up. We're at 200 watts now, 400, as it's trying to heat up. Nice little buzz coming from the toaster. If we continue to raise the temperature, we'll go to 125 just for fun. You can see now we're pulling the full 1100 watts the toaster's rated for. And as we wait, we should see the temperature start to rise. Currently we're at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera, but the heating elements are starting to glow. And our temperature is slowly going up. We're at 82. Eighty-six. Still pulling the full 1100 plus watts. Temperature's going up quite nicely. Ninety-three. Over a hundred. Heat sink gets a little warm on the triac, but I plan on fixing that by actually mounting it to the side of the toaster oven, give it plenty of surface area to cool off. But even the way it is now, it should be just fine. Oh, 115. And you can see we're starting to get close to temperature and we're throttling back on the power. Down to 300 watts, 250, 100, and we're at temperature, so now it goes to idle back down to the one or two watts the control board uses at most and that's more noise than anything you can see we overshot by a few degrees but not too bad up to 132 34 and this is still the original code from the laminator I haven't changed anything I just programmed it plugged it in and went 140 Nope, still climbing a little bit. A lot of heat stays in those heating elements. Oh, almost 250. It's trying for 150, but I think that's about as hot as we're going to get. Still drawing just the idle power of the board. Nothing's being delivered to the toaster oven itself. Nope. If we open the door, we'll bring the temperature down a little bit so we can actually show it start to heat back up. Oh, and temperature's dropping like we'd expect. 149. 145. Yep, nice and warm. So pretty soon we'll be cool enough that it's going to start turning the heater back on. 
And I can fix a lot of this overshoot just by adjusting the PID control loop. Again, this is just the laminator code without any changes whatsoever. Let's close the door. Five was your where we're set. Not quite there yet. Still trying to get down to it. There we go. One twenty five. Something that up a little get a bit. Get some more airflow. There we go. And 30 watts. Back down to nothing. Almost 40 watts. Oh, temperature's dropped a little bit more, so now we're dumping in 100 watts. Oh, we've dropped a little bit more, so we're up to almost 400 watts. So now it's jumping between 100 and 400 watts, trying to increase the temperature without overshooting too much. If we waited a couple minutes, we'll eventually stabilize right around the 125 mark we're set at. I don't think you guys want to sit and watch that for that long. But we're still, still applying 100 watts, so the temperature will come up slowly. And just to show you how much current this draws, I'm actually going to change the kilowatt to measure amperage instead of wattage. Alright, so right now we're at 3 amps, and just so we really start drawing some power, we stabilized at 120. We'll go up a couple more degrees and we'll end up being at 125, but I'm not going to wait for that. I'm going to turn it up to, let's try 170 degrees. You can see we're drawing 9.6 amps. Toaster oven's really rated at 1200 watt, which would be 10 amps, but they overestimate a little bit. There we go. Full power is being applied. Heating elements get nice and red again. And temperature should start coming up quickly. When I actually do this for real, I plan on actually putting the sensor inside the oven. But for just for trial and error, it's just mounted to the side, measuring the temperature so the response is a little bit slow. But there you have it, it's drawn almost a full 10 amps without any problems. Thanks for watching.